a big update um, this month. It's their, I think their last DLC. They are working on a second one. There we go. New, Wounds of Eventide. Un, an, a new unlockable ending through a completely new quest has been added to the main game. Um, new Custodia. Completely new area named Mourning and Havoc is now accessible in Custodia. Brotherhood of Silent Sorrow. Echoes of Salt have increased in size, featuring more places to explore. Two new challenging bosses now lurk in the depths of Custodia. Uh, new background has been added to the main menu. Various elements of the existing levels have been tweaked. New animated scenes. NPC. A mysterious figure has appeared, acting as the keeper of the ossuary. Uh, new NPC we can found be in the library. Keymaster guards their entrance. Okay. Glad they give something for the library, because the library wasn't a great area. New dialogue lines have been added to several NPCs and bosses. Sacred Sorrows, a new unlockable course has been added to this mode, featuring all new bosses. Last course, randomize the order in which you fought the bosses. New items. Rosary beads have been added. Prayers. A new sword heart. Okay. All right. So a lot of new stuff. Um... How's this game running? I think it's probably going to run pretty well. This, I remember this game being very optimized. So... Jesus. Lots of resolutions. All right. So th this... I will also preface this with this game is going to be kind of uh gory to say the least um it is not the sun rising but our sins i really really like this game i i would recommend it to anybody that's played any sort of metroidvania give this game a try it is so good your punishment and nail it deep. Shake my guilt once again. Oh, it's got rumble support. Nice. Lord of Thorns. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace, sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. <laughs> but yeah, the art style for this is amazing. I, I, yeah. It, it, it's a really, really good game. I'm going to be really, really bad at it, by the way, because it's also a very difficult game. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Press LB to consume one of your biliary flasks and recover vitality. As consecrated flasks are filled with kneeling at pre -deu. Find empty vessels to increase the amount you can carry. Okay, we got jump. We got swing. We got lock. There's our dash. Whee! All right. You're wondering, the character is called the Penitent One. Pfft. 
Kriya Deu. Press Y to rest at and save your game, revealing health and flasks, and you will respawn, kind of like bonfires. There's a reason it's called a Souls Like, too. And you'll see why here in just a second. Okay. There we go. First boss down. Requiem Eternium. Rest in eternity or eternal rest or something like that, I think. In case you're wondering what kind of game this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get it going. Okay. Key to the chamber of the eldest brother. Okay, yeah, we don't get that till much later. Hey, it's this guy. Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. I am Deo Gracias. Deo Gracias. To and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. Mm -hmm. So the protagonist will never speak. of the churches. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. Hey, just a second, I'm gonna move my camera up so I'm not blocking the subtitles. Oop. One of them must be performed in the high mountains. That's where we're going first. church where the sleeper lies and the last one at the end of the trail carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral in the bowels of the bell named hondo that grows into the earth take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword if when the time comes as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed. Having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. 
Required thorn. That'll be helpful later on. Inventory. All right, there's our map. Thorn, small gift. Yeah, culpa, prayers, abilities. Rosary beads. All right, lots of content. Even no wise, however, what I saw okay. All right, let's get going. Okay. All right, right button up here. There we go. Oh, a little bit delayed. Okay, you can't parry those guys. Good to know. Whee! Yeah, I remember you guys. What is this? Acquired is the Forsaken Hamlet. In order to use this prayer, open inventory and equipped it. Oh, yes, the prayers. Equipped. And left trigger. Yay, magic. All right. Oh, I missed the the visceral attack or whatever they call it in this one. Oh yeah, we can't grab on the ledges. Oop. Oop. Ah yes, the cherub. Press right trigger in X to descend after hitting an enemy. Wait, what? One of 38. Find all of them in Custodia. Uh, not that one. There it is. There we go. Don't forget your magic. All right. Into town we go. Albero. Also, this music, uh, if anybody's ever played Diablo, this music is very Diablo esque. All right. to Albero, sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kisses of wounds. Few remain here who can still employ it, but Tixo <coughs> is my name. <coughs> there are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus, both we and they <coughs> remain at the mercy of the miracle. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under set skies, 
Okay. Uh, Dave's going. <coughs> Other than choking on my drink, Dave's been going pretty far, pretty, pretty well so far. I was trying to fix a light earlier and got uh, drywall dust in my eye, which was uh, not super, uh, <coughs> not super fun, but. I don't remember what's in here. Oh. Who are you? Slowly servant greets you, Opa. How's your day, Eddie? Welcome to the ossuary of all those <coughs> who will be eternally remembered. My duty is none other than to provide shelter to each and every one of these skeletal remains that linger under these intangible veils of dust. It matters little how many years or centuries have passed. The bones <coughs> speak to us through their creaking and grinding and through their silence. But these remains need one another in order to reveal the truth. By an Assassin's Creed, which one? Odyssey? Or... You, you were working on Odyssey, right? And then you were going to play Valhalla later? Only together, in intimate brotherhood, will they achieve eternal rest. <laughs> For this, they beg that you help them. Bring them before me, and in this way, we will uncover the truth that they have silenced. <laughs> the bones thank you for your help, O oh virtuous penitent one. Bring the bones before me, and we will uncover the truth that they keep silent. Watching Repulsor stream. What was uh what were you streaming today, Repulsor? Sorry, I, I've literally been since I woke up to basically two hours ago, I've been doing stuff. Well, I was doing stuff two hours ago too. I had, I um, I took a shower and handled some food stuff and whatnot. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the level up thing. I think. Virtue of Mea Culpa hath ascended. Mea Culpa Shrines. Visit Mea Culpa Shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend Tears of Atonement souls, to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase Mea Culpa's strength to access more powerful techniques. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got? Lunge attack. Sacred Thrust. Two thousand. So we can either get Weight of Sin or Sinful Wrath. I think. I think we're gonna go ahead and unlock the the strong attack. All right, he's playing Genshin with someone named. Oh, you and uh, Yoko were playing today. Did you guys figure out a way to get to to play together? If you're still here, I don't know. I don't. Know. I guess Repulsor uh, said hello and then left us <laughs> forever alone. I kid. Um. 
I know he's probably busy. Dove skull. Okay. We got to collect all the bones for that one guy, I think. Oh, that's a rosary bead. Okay, never mind. Good rosary beads. God, this game. I'm. What does this do? It apparent for illness slightly strengthens defenses. That's what it is. I love this too. They have lore. That morning, when the bonfires were lit and the convicts were rising, raising their ghastly pleas to indifferent inquisitors, a white dove came down from the heaven and perched on the shoulder of a prisoner, where it stayed until it burned with him. I'm not sure if he's here or not, that's why I want it. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. We will unlock that elevator later. I think we can might be able to... Let's see where this uh, cherub goes. Hmm. <clears throat> By the way, we can't reach this this cherub until uh, we get the elevator down from over there. Pretty fun stream. Most definitely got a dual stream with a pulsar. Yeah. I've got a phalanx of Bron. Okay. I'm trying to read that. Brannon. Are these the guys? Yeah, I was like, I think we can attack some of these. Okay, can't go that way. Well, it's good to know that they, they were able to get it working, because I know they were... That was like one thing that they were trying to figure out. Yeah, I need to I need to figure out a way to do some uh Oh, wrong button. Go. The other side of the game. Oh yeah, no, this is like if if I could do like if they could rip an art style out of my mind, it would look like this. Like I love the art style of this game. And wait till you see some of the bosses and stuff. Just the the way they've designed literally everything. Like it's just it's really really good. First time streaming the game? Yes. Uh, it's not my first time playing it, though. There we go. Uh, also, there's some new. There's a ton of new content that I haven't played. I basically played it a little bit after release. 
Um. And then, uh, I haven't played it since they've done all the DLCs and stuff, so... It is indeed my first time streaming it, and there will be some brand new content to me, so... Yeah! Get squished. Oh, okay, hit with a rock. Oop, this is not a... So this is not a great position for us to be in. Cephalaris excommunicatus or something like that. Alright. That's fine. We opened a shortcut and everything. Yeah. Dodge action to crouch through small space, avoid physical attacks, and pass through enemies without suffering damage. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the thing I get used to is, uh, using them, them dashes accordingly. Oh, a little early. Okay, now we can go over here. And the big person that was here does not respawn, so... It gives us a little bit of a shortcut. Great game, great game. Also, they give you a reason why your protagonist is silent, which some some games with silent protagonists don't do. So basically, the penitent one is silent because that is how they're paying penance. Cool, okay. So they give you a reason why. And that's. And this is where you can pick up your lost stuff. Should be a shrine somewhere around here. Alright, we definitely don't want to go down. Back up, please. There we go. Nope. It's funny, when I... When I first played this game, I was awful at parry. Like, I just... Oof. Oh boy, I could not parry to save my life. Okay. Oop. Oops. <laughs> I was trying to grab the ladder. I gotta figure out how to do that while falling. Accumulation of guilt. Airing on the side penance guilt fragment is anchored to the world. Okay, yeah. That is what they call the, uh, the little soul thing you leave behind.
Doop -a -doop -a -doop. So this is your old character? No, this is a brand new game. I played, when I played it, I played it on um, the Switch. So I have no save data for this whatsoever. This is all brand new. Squish. Okay, we gotta push up. So it's up. There we go. Ta-da! There we go. It was up. Up was the thing we were looking for, because we need to grab this. Thank you very much. Heart of the Virtuous Pain. Sword hearts. Equip sword heart and couple to alter its properties. They grant powerful upgrades, but it comes at a price. <clears throat> Rest at a Praya Deu. Yeah, I'm not making that jump. I, I know what we have to do to survive that. We're not gonna... We're not doing that right now. There we go. And then we jump over here. And uh, this way we go. There should be a shrine, like, right over here. Where the olive trees wither. When jumping against certain surfaces, you thrust your sword against the wall. There's the shrine. All right. Inventory. Sword core, blessed with def defensive prayers, can be inserted to make Copa boost blocking stance, increasing its duration, but exposes to... Exposes... Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Basically, if we mess up a block, it, we're in bigger trouble, is what that says. Hello, friend. Contrite and humiliated be the heart, penitent one in silence. You stand before what remains of Gemino. Oh, do not fret for me. The cold is merciful, for it relieves our pain and numbs us before it leads us to our deaths. Perhaps the miracle the others spoke of has come to me. Here, in this iron tomb, lengthening in distress more and more. To a promised land you direct your march, to the place where the frozen and the burning embrace in communion. Let me ask of you the favor of bringing me a few drops of the oils that once came out of these icy olive trees. The ones that ended up scorching the faces of every pious person who ever reached the summit. Oh yeah. As my last wish, before it is too late for me, let me feel that pain. Mm-hmm. Take this. Is it a bowl? Oh yeah, with a thimble. <coughs> Oh, right. Now, this platforming section is kind of rough. Hmm. 
if I remember correctly. We gotta let them throw a rock at us and then jump across, jump across. We can go in here. Incense garlic. Oh, hello. Not sure. Not sure what we're doing here. Hmm. Okay. Well, we know that's there. That might be one of the DLC things. I don't remember that being there before. on the platform I hit the, the side of it just poof, right off okay oh that's fine Whee. these guys we can just wail on Okay, if you guys could stop hitting me with a rock, that'd be great. Okay. Up we go. probably heal. I had like no health left. Oh, I remember this. something down here, I believe. Yep. Doop, doop, doop. Whoop. Oh, okay. Okay. Want to make sure there was not a deathly fall there. Uh, we don't want to go that way just yet. <laughs> uh, we might want to go that way. Nope, this is where we want to head. There should be a shrine right over here, right? Yep, yeah, there it is. Boop. This 
is a precious treasure to me. Its value goes far beyond what I asked for it. And may I don mourning black if I'm trying to deceive you? Ember of the Holy Creation. Ember ice crystal is long forgotten. It retains some of the heat of the bonfire lit at the different land. Tempers the heart, increasing the defenses of whoever carries it. Ooh, 5,000 though. We don't have that. I think we're going to need this. Calcified Eye of your addition. We'll need this for something. I think. What I am offering, may my eye... Torn bridal ribbon. One of the three remains an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted a broken oath rarely ever find healing. Oh, I don't remember which one of these is the... I thought we needed the eyeball, but I might, I might be mistaken. All right, let's go with the eyeball. It's the most expensive. Oh, we got chance of earning tears of atonement when destroying an object. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that on. Let us be captives of the miracle, penitent one. Do not be surprised to find this merchant here. This ancient occupation requires me to be wherever I can obtain reward in benefits. Call me Candelaria. For what I nice. sell would make your eyes light up like the high bonfires. I will not ask you for any money whatsoever. Those forbidden tears you shed would be more than enough for me. Go ahead. <laughs> cast your darkened eyes over these valuable treasures. So what do you guys think about it so far? Okay, perfect. This is where we want to be. Let's go ahead and do this first. Immaculate bead. Cleanse your guilt. I'm thinking of buying it. I... I don't often do just like full-on... Like, you should get this. If you like Metroidvanias, like, not of ros Rosary Rope, I think we need to use this. Oh, we need to read some of this stuff, too. Let's go ahead and read some lore stuff while we're at it. Uvula of Proclamation. Decree from His Holiness uh, Escrobar. It shall be called the Anointed Legion, said His Holiness. Under the armor, their bodies shall be covered with ba bandages anointed with oils that m I myself will bless. They will protect the mother of mothers as I will protect them. But, yeah, if you like Metroidvanias and you haven't played this game, it's it's. I think it's won multiple awards. Like, it, it deserves every bit of it. Calcified Eyed of your addition. His body was immobilized amid cries of repentance. His skin began to turn wh whiter and whiter until it finally became limestone. As he was about to become complete statue and final sigh of his tears softened one of his eyes, he managed to separate himself from the rest of the body by falling to the ground. Now he's discreetly move her rigid body of lime from her s from her cell to the lower parts of the Arca Ar Arcathedral. Yeah, I, I can't say that. Along with the other forbidden statues, we put a wide loom over her so that no one else would know that under her would sleep, punished by the miracle, the great scribe. Immaculate bead. Simple bead, devoid of purpose. Its pristine service has never been soiled by fervent fingers. This is actually one of the most important items in the game. And it tells you right there, it has no purpose. 
I have something for you, and for you alone. Revealed the gypsy to the monk who had stopped his donkey as she uncovered a white stone possessing a strange beauty. It comes from the darkness of the ocean floor. Contemplate its purity. Look at its immaculate white, its virgin brilliance. What could be purer than this for your rosary, brother? <laughs> yeah, that's a very important thing. All right, we got thorn. Garlic is one of the... Th I think we can turn those in to get another uh, branch of our rosary. Um, that's used for the st healing stuff. Okay. Oh, can we just level up whenever we want? No, mea culpa. Okay, I thought so. All right. We're going to take this elevator down. Shortcut! Shortcut Ghetto. And also, you might notice that we are close enough to do that. Ta da! In this place, we gather the repelpers needed. Okay, I don't think we have anything for him yet. Here's some garlic. Merciful be, penitent one. With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. Linen cloth. I don't remember what that's for. Okay. No, don't talk to him. Sorry. That's not on me. I was trying to. I was trying to get over here so I can open this up because I wanted to look at. I think we have some bones. Do we not? Yeah. Uh. Calcaneum of Persian the Bandit. Uh, feared by his countrymen, Persian attacked routes without distinction between rich or poor and always alone. The day he dragged himself to Albero on the brink of death, no one took pity on him. Phalanx of Brannon, the grave digger. Brennan Joshua Mullins dug the graves of hundreds throughout his life, whether friend, family, or foe. But when the chaos arose, there was no one left to return the favor. Capitates of Barak the Herald. Whether executions or lashings, Barak was always there to proclaim them, proclaim them loudly. But his voice broke down gradually as day by day he had to announce the sentences of his entire family. Radius of Helzer the Poet. The work of the poet John Clark Helzer had sadly posthumous success, which means after death, uh, especially his poem especially his poem to the red leaf. The poem was found next to his corpse, severed by a fallen tree. All right. Oh, no, we don't want to go there yet. Not there yet. This, I believe it's in here. Yeah. Mr. Sandman, here is some bones. The bones, thank you for your help, O oh virtuous penitent one. Bring the bones before me, and we will uncover the truth that they keep silent. There are a lot of bones. Um... I don't think... Um... Yeah, let's take the plunging attack. There we go. Perfect. I don't remember who we have to turn the rosary thing into. There's someone that we'll, we'll turn that into and they'll extend our rosary. Which is very, very helpful. Because the more beads you have, the more, uh... The more buffs you get. Up we go. Alright. So you might notice... That... Cherub. So, later on we'll get a power-up that allows us to fall through the smoke without dying. And we'll be able to use that to get that cherub there but for now we continue on okay 
Nope. That's fine. We don't need to talk deal with that just yet. Alright. We don't have any tears. Go ahead and Okay. You might also notice these little red things here. That's how we get that. You have to you have to come back for a lot of the cherubs. Okay. Actually, since we have the spot, let's let's go down here. Oof. Oh, there's the health bar. Oh, Jesus, I didn't realize they were doing that much damage. Ouch. All right. Give that another go. Whee! I don't know. Not that way yet. We're supposed to go up there. We'll we'll go up there in a little bit. I, I don't remember what was down here, but I want to give it a shot. Just in case. Ah. Oof. Ooh, good thing we healed there. Oh. All right. We're getting our butt kicked. Yeah, I remember this area sucking. All right, this is what we need. Oh, we died. <laughs> I think that's the only thing we needed was that, uh, that, that piece of hair. Which I know sounds really weird, but... Remains of ten... Ten Tudia's hair. Remain of the thorned hairs of the novice Tentudia that were isolated from the rest so she could not receive a holy burial. Tentudia spent several years in that nunnery, and as she grew up, it became harder and harder to hide her hair. It wouldn't stop twisting and growing thorns, and the blood from the wounds it caused her did not take long to strain her pure white habit. The nuns, upon realizing, were frightened by it and soon began considering her cursed and a heretic, just as the parents of the girl feared would happen. All right, let's go. We're going to give one more shot. I want to make sure we don't miss anything down there. I think we just needed the hair. But... Yep, okay. There's something else there. We'll de we'll deal with it and we'll come back to it cuz we're going to we're going to end up coming back to the most of these areas multiple times as we get new abilities and stuff. All right. Well, let's go back to the shrine and heal up and then we'll make our way to the top. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, so we can parry those guys. It just doesn't... Area of dope. Yeah, you'll think that until you see these gosh darn things. These wall guys are absolute worst. Uh, 
Well, I take that back. The bell guys are the absolute worst. Also, you can see the wind blowing. It will push me in that direction, so I have to be very careful on, like, when I jump. Because these boards will break. There we go. Like that. The wind was actually pushing me away. Oof. There we go. When you have to use the wind there, otherwise it just it just murders you. And sometimes you forget that the wind doesn't blow that long and you fall down anyways. <laughs> there is a, there is quite a bit of platforming to this too. Um I don't think we can parry the walls. We basically just want to bait out their attack and then get them. Oof. I'm not expecting to jump that far. Okay. I'm going to wait for the wind to go the other direction. So I do not. Oof. Okay. Bait the attack. Bait the attack. We're not going to go for our... Well, actually, we need to go for the guilt. Give me that. Okay. Yeah, we need to get our guilt, because it, it takes your uh, mana bar if you don't. We should probably heal. Oh, crud. It pushed us off. <laughs> I was trying to heal and it just slid us right off the edge. I don't know. What, what was that other thing? What did I just pick up? Okay, I just picked up another bone. That's what it was.
Oh. oh, that's not fair. Oh. I'm getting my butt kicked. Let's. Oof, don't fall off. Okay. Oh, I died. I was like, what happened? He just disappeared. We've got to get to the top of that area. I think there's there's one last thing we need to acquire. Like I said, I make no promises that I'll be any good at this game. <laughs> also, this is technically the, like, the second area you're supposed to do, but you can do them... In any order, at least until you, you know, unless you reach an area where you need a certain ability or something. give this area over here one more shot I don't remember what's over here I know you're there oh crap that was almost bad What's over here? Okay, yeah, that's like I thought, that's the way we're supposed to go. I want to get. Whoa, don't push me off, snowstorm, please. Okay. Well, that, that couldn't have been even any more in his favor. All right, let's, let's heal up, give that another go. We're not going to go for that guilt. There we go. Oh, yeah, we can't do anything with that just yet. Do anoint yourself with the oil of pilgrims. Oh yeah, gives more, gives you more fervor. Oh, <laughs> stepped right into range. Just trying to bait out the claw and then. dash away.
Whoa, that was almost bad. Try to grab on the ladder and... There we go. Oh, this is not good. Oof. All right, which way is the wind going to blow? Perfect. Oof, okay. Piece of tombstone. Don't know what that's for. Okay. I think we should be coming up on a shrine. Yeah. There's plenty to explore in that area, too. Oh, haha. <laughs> Sister of mine, as I foretold you, someone is heading towards the Forbidden Gate. Someone who seeks the purge and excommunication of all the sacred arrests there. No, no, do not place your doubts on me. I am ready. That'll be important later. Covenant of Our Lady of Charred Visage. Okay, we've got to... We've got to be careful. This lady will hit us with a sensor full of people. There's our shrine. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Don't remember where we go from here, so we're just gonna not that way. That's got poisonous gas. Yeah, that's right. Oh boy. Uh, you should probably try mild sauce next time. Graveyard of the Peaks. All right, so we're going to go ahead and unlock this shortcut. So this gives us this. So now we can get from the main town all the way back up to the Covenant. Uh, I don't remember how we get that. We'll get that later, I'm guessing. Alright. Oh, convent. Sorry, not covenant. Convent. Alright. Shortcut get. Yeah, okay. That's poison gas. We'll need something for that later. Let's go ahead and heal up. The reason why they give you shortcuts back to the main base like that is because that's the only way you can do level up stuff. So. This is going to be fun. Go. So you, so this isn't. Oof. Ah. Touchy. Ah. That went on for a lot longer than I thought. Oh yeah, you're the one. That, you're the one that's doing it in the first place. Let's just stop that. Um. So you have to wait until they're in an attack animation before you can dodge through them. If you try to do it early, um, it doesn't work.
gonna need you to stop. Okay. Oh, crap. Knocked us back through. Go ahead and do this. Can't make that jump, I don't think. Oh, did not mean to get hit by that. Oh, okay, so it has a little bit of a hitbox even after she slammed it, so that's good to know. Good to know. if the lava ladies come back. I think they do, yeah. Goopy. There we go. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. Just needed to aggro you over here. Oof. Oof. Heal up. Should be able to go back over here. Stop you. And grab this. Sternum of Vuitas, the Performa. Oh, I shouldn't jump there. And my longest stream to Oh, you streamed today? I didn't know you streamed. I think I'm following you. I guess I missed it. That's cool. That's great, actually. Okay.
Very cool. Oh, Jesus. Oof, we ate all that. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to double check to make sure I'm following you, because I know Twitch does a weird thing where sometimes if you're... It, it'll just, like, unfollow random people. So... I'll have to double check I'm following you, but yeah. It's good, to, it's good to see that you're getting back to streaming. When, you know, as long as you're having fun with it. What'd you stream? Was it... Were you streaming Odyssey? I'm guessing because you said you played it for, like, seven hours. Very cool. Can't reach either one of them. Don't like this. Since you're doing a swing shift figure, you could stream in the morning, in the a.m. before work. Cool. Yeah. Nice, so I'll definitely have to go back and uh, watch that. Rude. Okay, so we have no reason to go back this way once we get into this next room. deal with her. Oh, oof. Wow, just full damage. All right, these ladies do quite a bit of damage. Down we go. Is this the shortcut? This is the shortcut. Boop. We were that close to the shortcut. Unfortunate, but we got it now. So, shortcut time. Get our stuff back. Whoa, what? Oh, it's the wax lady. Ah.
Oof. That's why we unlocked the shortcut. <laughs> Trying to hit her a few times and I ended up missing some swings. It probably would have went better if we, uh... Get this. go not the greatest talker but eh. you get you get used to it honestly like you just it's it's one of those skills that you just gotta keep at and not get disheartened and not get disheartened when you're okay so she only shoots twice good to know Because believe me, it's it's I mean, there, there's a reason why a lot of colleges require. OK, Mr. Flea Man. Speech as a class. OK. And it's just because it's a necessary skill, but it's a skill nonetheless. Because, like, I, the the thing with streaming, too... Okay, we're taking you out. Oh, wow, she hit us without... Okay. That second beam shouldn't have hit us, but... With streaming, too, you have to... You have to get used to the idea that you're going to be... You know... Also talking with chat and playing a game. So it's not always just commentary. See, that that's kind of the thing with, um... Um, oh, come on, man. That's the thing with like making videos content is. Is with video content, there's not an audience to interact with, you know, so you can kind of like cut out your mistakes and. And, you know, you, you can plan and you can script, but with, with like Twitch, you don't, you don't get that, uh, luxury, you know? Also, if you're bad at video games, like me, you don't get the luxury of cutting out the portions of your failures. You just have to live with them. And the trick I, that I've found with Twitch is to kind of not only commentate on the stuff in the that's like on screen, but like have kind of a uh, what am I trying to say? Have like discussion topics effectively in your head, things that could uh, come up if you especially if your your chat isn't lively like you know some of the bigger streams because when you when you when you have a lot of people chatting it's not as big of a deal because you can obviously just keep talking to those people but oof i shouldn't have went for that swing Um, so I try to think of things that are like on, on brand for like, I 
for like the game or something that I want to discuss. Oh, this is actually a really good pattern. Got her. And, and then just kind of build off of that. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what that is. Cool. Sure, we'll come back for it. You also got to find, like... Where you're comfortable... Talking-wise as well. Because the amount of talking is going to be dependent on, you know, whether you're interested in the game or whether there's a, a bunch of people in chat or whether you just have things to talk about. But... Again, it's it's just like anything else. It's just a skill that you have to really hope there's not another one of those wax ladies up here. It's just a skill that you got to practice as you stream more, as you uh, get more used to looking over at chat and talking and what the heck was that? Um, nothing happened. Okay. Not sure why we needed to do that then. It, it, it'll come more natural to you. That's how it was when I was, uh... When I, when I first started teaching, I was like a, uh... I was a mess. I, I was like shaking and like I didn't know how to plan lessons properly and like it was it was a whole thing. Okay, I don't know if we need to go that way yet. Hoping there's a shrine around here. Cloistered Sapphire. Let's go back this way. Because I believe we might be able to open a shortcut this way, but we're going to have to be very careful because we have no healing items. Yep, there's the shrine. Whew. Who boy. All right, now let's go this way now that we have the shrine. But... And it's... I, I won't show you. It is sometimes very hard to fill the silence. Okay, that's all that was over here. When when you're playing games and stuff, especially when you get hyper-focused and you're like, I don't want to talk, I just want to play game. But you get used to it. I, I've always been, like, like I said with the channel, I've always been a proponent of like couch co-op kind of things. From a place of blessings have I been entrusted with watching over you, penitent one. Thus it has been arranged. So I make sure even even when I'm just like hanging out that, you know, I'm doing some sort of commentary with friends, as long as it's not annoying. My name is Viridiana. I have been granted a gift with which I can assist you in carrying your burden if required. But only you can make that choice. Um so, like, I basically practice those skills with friends by being like, oh, I'm going to sit here and commentate while you play. Um, and then when I sit down to stream, I take that same mentality as if, you know, yes, I'm talking to a camera, but, you know, through that camera, I reach you guys. And I just imagine that you guys are 
on the couch and I'm just common, you know, commenting on the game while you're sitting there with me. That's that's these one in silence. Will you require my assistance with your next task? Nope. Here I shall remain. That is your hint that something's about to go down. I'll give you a guess what it is. We want the, the low head, because it's easier to get hits on. Oh, this isn't great for us. Come on. Yeah, that's where we want you, right there. It's go time. Phase two. Oof. And this is where we possibly lose. Oh boy. Oh, I just jumped into it. I used to have been talking during stream. I just had my hands tied at the moment. Thanks for the info. Yeah, yeah, I, I figured. That, that's that's one thing about streaming is just just about to just talk, you know? I don't want to use her. She she assists you. She's basically like a summon. She can help you with the boss. All right, we, do, we don't need to take some early, some of those early hits. I don't know how to I don't know how to dodge that one. Oof. It took way too many early hits already. Oh god. Oh, maybe we can deflect them. I think I remember something about that. Yeah, this this boss is uh not easy. Not an easy boss at all. dodge there.
Nope, we can't deflect them, but we can sure as heck eat all of those hits. Ah! I was stuck crouching. That's a hit. All right, this is where we want it. Is we don't do a whole lot of damage. Do not want to have to get help with this. Come on, why you gotta do a high head? Oop, did not mean to eat that hit. Oh, there we go. Okay, some pretty good, pretty good damage on that. Oof. Like another low head, but... Here's where the real fun starts. Stop going high. I can't hit you when you're up there and they're trying to shoot me. Ah, I can't dodge through that. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, it's not giving us a good pattern here.
Nope. The problem is we need it to go low, and it's not going low to save our life. That was a close one. That was a close one. But yeah. Ugh. The problem is, is we need it to be lower because that's the only way we can get good hits on it. There was something... Hold on. There was something about... Press right trigger and X in the air to ascend after hitting an enemy. We might try that. Yeah, that's not working. Yeah, the boss fight is a trip. It's quite a pain in the butt, honestly. Ah. Loving it. So spicy come on yes come low oh we can i knew that we could do that i was like wait there's one of these projectiles that we can absolutely deflect Oh god. Also helps if I could actually like, I don't know. Hit the darn thing. Yes, come low. Yes. We might be able to get it here. Oh, nope. I got greedy and immediately got blasted. <laughs> okay, so we learned something. I knew there was a there was a projectile in that fight that we could deflect. I thought it was the fireballs, but it's the it's the orbs. So if we time it right, we can we can make that. Okay. We got this now. Cause that was the one problem. I was like, there's no way we can dodge both projectiles. And that was actually a really good pattern because they, they went down twice. And that's kind of what we want. Oof, okay. And it also does damage to the brain as well when we deflect it. So that's, ooh, that was almost spicy. That's gonna be very helpful. Also, I figured out the, the uh, combo thing. Okay, I hit there, that was unnecessary. Oof.
Oh. Go low again. Go low again. Not low enough. Okay. Oh. I'm getting caught in the middle of this. Oh, I walked into that. Dang it. Oh, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. I wonder if we can deflect them. I don't think we can. I don't think we can parry the balls. I think we have to hit them. We'll get it. We'll get it. We just need a good pattern and me not taking unnecessary hits. Oh, like that. Yeah, look how much that absolutely destroyed the health bar. Come low, yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Ugh. The problem is, is the sideways slash doesn't have the same cadence as the upward slash. The upper slash has the perfect cadence to hit it with the balls, but the sideways doesn't so that's not necessary hit Okay. Not a great start, but... Almost got double beamed. Oh, I really hope it would have stayed low. All right. Took a double hit there. There we go. All right. Oh, no, 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 dang it. I got stuck because the fireball hit me in the other one and then it just, it just pounded me. That was so close. We almost had it. And that was a good pattern too. Uh. I shouldn't have been hit by that, but sure.
Dang it! Told you to swing up. I guess I'll take that. Perfect. No, it wouldn't let me dodge. Oh, that's not great. Yep. Wow, it machine gun fireballed right when we were right next to it. We just got, we just ate so many hits. Oh, man. We had a good pattern for hitting the balls back to him, and now it's not working. It's really irritating. See, the machine gun fireballs are not bad when there's only one hand, but when there's two hands... You don't get that luxury as much. Oh, that wasn't fair. The, the ball that we reflected, uh... Came back at us. She taunts the last one. Gosh dang it, lady. Oh, that's not great. Okay. Oh, I, I dodged and got immediately lasered. Come on, come low. Yes. Those hits were BS, dude. Oh, we're dead. Yep. That was crap, dude. I like hit her and then like a laser didn't touch us, but still got a hit, which threw off the whole. Re oh. Urgh. <laughs> getting so close. We're getting like the last three bars. Ate that hit. <sighs> 
See? Like that. That shouldn't have hit us. Ah, fudge. Phase two and it's a high head. Oh, well, it helped if I wouldn't get stun locked in the corner. It was like ball, ball, laser, laser. Ugh. There's nothing I can do about that. I was either going to get hit by the ball or, or get hit by the laser. Another, ugh, it was so close. I couldn't get out of the corner because as soon as the fireball pushed me in there, they just kept hitting me with things. Oh, that was so good too. I was like full health. They only got like two bars left. We had this.
Oh, didn't mean to get right underneath that laser. Come on. Oh, if it had gone low there, we probably would have had it. Nope. Okay. Come on, come low. Yes, we might have it here. Don't get greedy. Got it. Heck yeah. Just needed to go low one last time. Whew. custodian of one of the three sorrows of the soul in penance. Our miracle has chosen me amongst all the peers, just as it chose you to walk on the sacred sea. May the gold in my visage melt and erase the compunction of your soul. Heart of guilt, return now from the dream. Holy Wound of Compunction. Convent of Our Lady of the Charred Visage. And there we go. Old thimble filled with burning oil. Look what it is. puts us yeah okay all right through and definitely want to use this uh, okay where was the we need this one we have 4900 Ranged attack we need. Okay, so 2,000, 2,000. Perfect. We need both the combo. And the ranged attack. Cool. I don't remember why it puts us here. This close to the... This isn't close to the thing, is it? Oh yeah, it's pretty close. Holiday Hydrate! Indeed! Okay, just trying to make it back to the shrine. There it is, perfect. Alright, now we need to go down. Was it this way to the... Elevator?
I don't think it was this way to the elevator, was it? It was, okay. All right, so we need to take this elevator down. We need to get back to the snow guy. By the way, we need to go this way. Now that we have both elevators. There we are. Hello there. Blessed are the eyes that with devotion see my tormented heart. Let the ones who are joyful in the jacked, dude. Come to me, for they are pleasant penance. Six sting pains lance my flowery breast. Take the first one and purge one of your six mortal stains of the soul. Maximum health increase. That's why I wanted to stop by <laughs> this location. Because we're going to need that. Actually, we could have got that earlier and probably would have helped with the fight, but... Ah, who cares? There's no way this way. This is the merchant. I want to deliver this thimble. I need to exercise more. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> This, this lady over here with, like, six... No, seven swords in her, and <laughs> apparently she can uh, out-squat people. This is great. <laughs> Makes you feel great about yourself. <laughs> All right, we need to go. I'm trying to remember, what is the quickest way to the snow place? I guess we'll have to climb back up. This poor lass. Many tears were shed in her blessed name. A thousand prayers do not clarify whether or not the grievous miracle is a manifestation of true holiness. Still, in our heart lieth no doubt that she was unjustly punished. Find the next remnants. The order blesses thee. Tears of Atonement. Just gave us some tears. What's in here? What is this? Is that a donation box? Make a donation. Let's go with 30, I guess. I don't know. That's odd. Not sure what that's for. All right, we're gonna make our way back to the snow. the The guy who's encased in the uh, the tree. Because I want to give him the thimble of hot oil. There's our fourth strike. Forgot we got that. Ooh, let's go. All right, up we go. I don't remember what we get for giving him the thimble. But. All right, we don't need to go over there. We need to go right in here. Olive tree, bro. We've got your thing.
Yay, we made it. Okay. Thimble filled with burning oil. I feel the boiling oil entering my frigid veins. You notice his arm that was coming out of the front is actually a tree limb now. No answer. Okay, cool. Don't know what that does for us, but uh, we get we did it. So, yay! Ah, eh, we could probably find a shortcut this way. Just gotta make sure we check these expanses. I don't think we can do anything. Here. Oh, we can do. Oh, he opened this tomb for us. Frozen olive. Dried flowers bathed in tears. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. That is very pretty. I see. This is why I love this game. Look at that. Given, you have given dry flowers bathed in tears. Acquired Sata Dolorosa. What does that say? The sorrowful and desperate chant overflows with conviction, and those who intone it with a rewarded vital energy ever hit. Oh, yes, please. That is super useful. It's a buff that allows us to get health back on hit. Okay, we can't get in there because we can't. I don't think we can air dash. I love how every time you hit these guys, they actually, the bell actually rings. That's a nice touch. I don't know where we're at. Wherever we are, we have to air dash or something. Oh, there's more than more than one of you. Am I streaming Christmas Day? I mean, yes. <laughs> Simple answer, yes. We will be now. It's going to be delayed. We won't be streaming at our normal time, because that's when the stuff that I have planned is going on. Um, so it'll be later in the day. But yes, we will be... We will be streaming tomorrow. We'll be streaming this specifically. Um... Okay, cool. That's... That works. Uh, we'll be streaming this specifically. Actually, we could just... We don't need to go all the way back. I'm sure there's some stuff we've missed, but we'll get more abilities. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll be later in the day. Uh, it'll be some more of this. And then uh, what I was saying earlier, and we'll, we'll talk about it again tomorrow is if everybody's cool to see to continue playing this then i will continue playing this uh if people want more uh more horror like something more spooky then i will play something different but that's that's all dependent on you guys i'll take a vote Tomorrow. To see. Okay. That's not the right button. Okay, that one. Am 
much easier. It's kind of a waste. Or cut. But yeah, I'm just going to get to... Yep, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to get to this shrine right here. And that... Is where... We are going to call it a stream. Like I said, a little bit of a short stream here. Uh, we will be doing... Wow, that's a lot of fingers. Oh no, it's multiple hands, okay. We will be doing more of this tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Um, 